Today, we talk about the terrors of hyperspace. Hey guys, this is Eckhart Slaughter. Hello and welcome to a quick Star Wars Legends lore video. I don't want to waste any time, so let's get right into the content. Star Wars hyperspace is pretty spooky. No one in the Star Wars galaxy really understands how hyperspace works, other than the fact that when entering hyperspace, ships somehow ascend to a higher dimension, which allows them to travel faster than the speed of light. Traveling beyond the ordinary could cause hyperspace madness, known formally within the Star Wars universe as Hyper Rapture. In the Death Star book, we get the following quote from Darth Vader. There was something profoundly wrong about hyperspace, composed as it was, of more than three spatial and one temporal dimensions that most sentient species were used to. Looking too long into hyperspace promised madness, so the stories went. He also says that to combat this, most Navy personnel just didn't look out the window when traveling through hyperspace, and that standard operating procedure was to keep the thick slabs of transparent steel opaque while traveling through the higher dimensional universe. Vader, of course, isn't afraid and enjoys looking out into the void of hyperspace. Perhaps this was a phenomenon that was common among Darksiders, because Kronal, also known as the Agent Black Hole, also enjoyed looking out into hyperspace. In the book Shadows of Mindor, we get the following. He loved gazing into hyperspace, the nothingness outside the universe, the place beyond even the concept of place. Ordinary mortals sometimes went mad, succumbing to the delirium of hyper-rapture from gazing too long into the emptiness. Kronal found it soothing, a glimpse into the oblivion, beyond the end of all things. To him, it looked like the dark. I like this quote a lot, and Star Wars often compares dark side users to cosmic events. For example, in the Revenge of the Sith novelization, Dooku thinks the following, and then there was Palpatine, of course. He was beyond power. He showed nothing of what might be within. Though seen with the eyes of the dark side itself, Palpatine was an event horizon. Beneath his entirely ordinary surface was absolute perfect nothingness, darkness beyond darkness, a black hole of the Force. That is a little off topic though, let's get back to hyperspace, and it wasn't just rapture which made the faster than light travel frightening. Of course, there's always the possibility that you miscalculate a jump and end up hitting an asteroid. You could travel to the future or experience anomalies with time due to the failure of, say, relativistic shielding. You could hit a time warp like R2-D2 and C-3PO did in the droids series. Or even worse things could happen. Star Wars Legends tells us the story of the Charon, who, after some sort of disaster, became trapped in other space. A strange foreboding, but also dreamlike dimension stuck between real space and hyperspace. The Charon, during their exile, went crazy and developed a dark cult which worshipped death. All in all, although hyperspace is one of the most useful technologies in the Star Wars universe, it's not at all without its danger or its terrors. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, may the Force be with you.